This is Big Talk, Big Game, man. We're back in the state, man. You feel yeah. me? This is your boy, D-Real. And I go by the name of Lee. What up? Hey, man, like always, man, Big Talk, Big Game brings you that live entertainment that you want to hear, have to hear, and must hear Welcome each to the show. and every week. Man. Yep. You feel well, me, man? We appreciate you. Our hey, IG man. Live people, what's up? Yes, Hip Hop Network, yes, what's happening? Yes, huh? sir. Yes, sir. And fellas and ladies out there, if you continue to keep watching, please share it to the next person that you know and have them share it to the next person that they know. Because Let's sharing grow, is caring. Let's there grow together, is, man. man. If you don't you share, me? you don't care. There it is, If man. you don't care about support us. Support folks. Huh? What, 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 what does Drake say? <laughs> Start up from the bottom, now we're here. Hey, we only can get here if you help us get here. Share, share, share. You know what I'm saying? Try to see where you was going with <laughs> Yeah. I, 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 I was going to make some sense with it. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make some sense with it. What did Jay-Z say? It's a hard knock life. If you don't knock, you ain't got no life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Once again, it's Big Talk, Big Game, man. Only on the Hip Hop Network, man. The HHN.TV, man. Make sure you subscribe and become a free citizen. Today, Do right that. now, man. I like that. That's what I'm gonna start doing. Giving empty advice. <laughs> I like that too. I, I like Why that. not? Why also, not? it's still Virgo season. Virgo season, oh, baby. On. So if you're a Virgo out there, man, shout out to you. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, birthday pass. So it's coming up. Happy birthday. The season's about to end, so it's about a couple more weeks. Y'all, season's about to come to an end <laughs> or whatnot. But hey, enjoy while you can, Virgo. But we're there. still here, so. I mean, hey, you know what I'm saying? What, what is a Virgo? Is that, uh, what is that? Uh, is a letter? What, what's the symbol for that? A naked lady. For real? Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, pretty much. I didn't know that. Yeah. 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 yeah well, I guess mm-hmm. I get, I get it makes sense for us, right? Right. I'm about to say, we like strippers. Do you like strippers? <laughs> I like strippers. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Shout out to all the strippers out there, man. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. What happened? What's anyway, going on you know what I'm saying? So like we always do, you know, we give you the high trending topics that's going on today. It's a lot of, a lot world, of shit man. going on. A lot of shit, man. A lot of shit. Mm-hmm. We're going to start off by, you know what I'm saying, saying that, hey, Serena Williams may be giving it up. She may have played Give her last match, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she gave it up. She got, she got a kid, man. Right? Listen, <laughs> she played her last match, supposedly. The GOAT. Man. Do you consider her the GOAT oh, of yeah. female or the GOAT? Of individual player of all time. Mm-hmm. What you talking about? Uh, like because when you think of individual player, you think of Serena, you think of Tiger Woods, you know what I'm saying? Then you also Oh, you talking about an individual player? Yeah. You know I, she's like, just the goat at what she does. Tennis, female tennis, whatever. So she the goat female, female athlete, sports, yeah. Female athletes. Okay. okay. Like that's what it is. Okay. She put in that time, she did her work. Yep. So she would got, you think got that, the ring? So would you think that Serena would get more clout than Tiger Woods? Are we comparing Serena and Tiger Woods? I would yeah. say yeah. 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 I would say yeah. You think so? Tiger cheated. <laughs> <laughs> he cheated. <laughs> he cheated and got caught horribly. <laughs> hey, I think my wife's under us. I need you to delete all of our voicemails, <laughs> all of our messages. Tiger don't care about that shit. And then he had a bad record. It ain't, it ain't many it ain't many athletes that that have not cheated. Yeah. So I mean that don't make it right. I'm not saying it's right. <laughs> All I'm saying is it happens. I mean that you know what I'm saying? And that's why I asked that question like, I never happen. played this! <laughs> it happened! <laughs> but we can't do that to Serena, because Serena Serena ain't cheap. And she thick too. She is. She is. No, she is thick. We don't, we don't even gotta compare her to Tiger Woods. Like we don't be like, oh Jordan compared to but, another. But they but they do though. They do though. They compare Jordan to Tom Brady. Which one will be the goat between them? They both got six stone rings. Jordan, Jordan. They both go the same thing. So he went through more obstacles. Okay, okay. You know, Jordan more obstacles. No, he said he because he's black. You know what I'm saying? So I would say, yeah. I would say, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't even argue. Shout about out that. to Serena Williams. Yeah, I can't argue about great, that. great career. Also, in another news and whatnot, have y'all heard about the Will Smith apology video? Yeah, that happened a while ago. What the news is Chris Rock's response to it. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm gonna get to. That's all I'm gonna get to. You know what I'm saying? Like, whew. So, what, what do you think about, about his response? response? Yeah, about his response. Chris Rock's response. Yeah. I mean, it's honest. It's, I mean, that's what he feels. Do you think that he should accept the apology and move on? Or you think he should just like, you know what? I'm never going to accept this. Apology. I mean, you can't tell somebody if they should accept an apology. Like, they have to feel the authenticity of the apology. Fair. And he felt like it was fake and on some bullshit. So, 
Would you accept the apology if Will Smith slapped you? Would you ever accept the apology from him? I'll accept it under some conditions. What's the conditions? You gotta let me punch your ass in the face three times <laughs> at a famous award show. <laughs> <laughs> Three times? Then we eat, yeah, one for the Father, because I'm a minister. <laughs> two for the Son, <laughs> and three for the Holy Ghost. It's wild because of their history and their friendship and stuff. It's like really hard to to put myself in the shoes of Chris Rock. Because first of all, most of us in Chris Rock's shoes would not have just stood, stood there. And, oh, no, no, no. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's hard to be like, ah, well. We've been up there banging it down. But Chris Rock going to bank off of it. He's going he gonna, to he gonna make the most out of this. He's right. a comedian, too. We've been banging in that yeah. whole award show. Yeah. Banging hard. Also, <laughs> we've been fighting. Let's say fighting. No, we've we been banging. For okay. real. Fighting ain't even the word. We've been banging. What's next? <laughs> also, did y'all hear about uh, Little Murder may be up for an Emmy for his What's role up, in Cody? Peace Valley? Yeah, yeah. He, he got emotional about it or whatever, you know. And of course he's going to be up for an Emmy, I guess. Do you think it's a strong possibility that he could win? I don't know who in the category or what, but yeah, I mean, he got a shot. He, he got a chip in the chair. Like, I hope he invited he to the table. Yeah, yeah. They put people out of the doubt. They definitely won that every. Do you ready for that bullshit? I was about to say, <laughs> do you think? Do you think he's getting such high accolade because of the LGBT community backing? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's because the LGBT community is backing it, but then I also think it's because he's really a straight man playing a gay role. Okay. It's hard for people to be straight. But that's what I'm saying. And really play a gay role. Like, that's your first role, but strong he, role. Well, he had a stunt double, man. He wasn't taking it in the ass. I know he was, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I, <I'm, laughs> I know he was, but I'm just saying, when people view it, before they read that part of the story, they thinking that it's him. But that's what I'm saying. But that's part of my that's part of my point. Because it has to do with the LGBT community. Would you do it? Okay, hold on. Y'all got <laughs> no, 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 listen, listen, wait. Y'all miss what I'm going. Stuck? Let's let's see what he's saying, bro. You think he's getting all of that hype because it has to do with the LGBT community. Mm. It's just like, for example, Eminem got a lot of hype because he was saying what he was saying, but he was white. You feel what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, okay, oh, this is different. You know, why Why don't folks in power, at power? So you, you know, know, you know what I'm saying? So, so it could be both, but you're thinking that it's more just because- I'm just asking. I'm just that, that's why I, say, I think it's a little bit of both. Okay. I think it's a little bit of both. Uh, I would say yes to your point, yet yeah, it's probably more on the LGBTQ side because they're so strong in the culture right now. Mm-hmm. So I would say it's a little bit tipped in the scale more their way. Oh, yeah. But I would okay. still say that him playing that type of role as a straight guy has some influence on it as well. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Nico, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, the owner of uh, Peace Valley and whatnot, she, uh, what he uh, is actually really gay. You know what I'm saying? So like it was easy for him to just <coughs> come on through the damn road. You know what I'm saying? Him to touch it. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy for him to do the road or whatnot. You know? What up, boy? What up? You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's easy what you do? The That's what I say. So if I had a stunt, yes, I would do. It. Like, but what, what, when, when does the stunt person come in? When it's penetration. But what about? <laughs> <laughs> While they acting, it ain't no penetration. You gotta get your ass felt. Oh no, 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 no. It ain't you. You gotta kiss. That dude was kissing. That wasn't a stunt double for that. That wasn't a stunt double for the other one. It was kissing. Not for kissing. No, hell no. That's what I'm saying. When the stunt double come in? Oh no. Oh hell. See, I thought it was stunt double the whole time he was messing with the guy. Every no. You see him. You see him. You see the face to face. When he bent over, <laughs> got an extra uh, stunt now, now, ass. Now we're trying to see where is the limit. And he doing his own stuff though. Oh, great. Yeah. So what? <laughs> stuff in hell, boy. <laughs> That's my question is, where would you draw the line? You know what I'm saying? So where, where are you drawing the line? They going to be banging. <laughs> right? They going to be banging. Fuck all that kid. I got. I'm gonna read the whole script. And like, okay, where's the kissing? Man? Like, hey, it's say I gotta take it in the ass. I <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my ass off limit. My wife can't even smack my ass. I don't even do that. Right, <laughs> right. So yeah, so we'll see. We'll see if he wants. Even if they throw millions at you, like, come on, five million. 
Everybody got a price. <laughs> just let them spoon you for 45 seconds. That's what I said. Where the lie? Where's the lie? Where is the lie? Because if you agree to it, you know, it's got to be a certain point. Now, at this point, nah, I can't do it. Man, but hey, I lay in the hey, bed with him. Hey, you going to lay in the bed with him? Like, there's got to be a lie somewhere. Be a lie somewhere. So you'll let him spoon with you? No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. But he said he'll consider hey, doing it. I ain't never said I consider it. He just said that. That's why he asked both of us, what we doing? Did, did he say he'll do it? I'm not fucking doing it. I'm, I'm not doing it. I'm not. Yeah, how much money you throw at me? You can't miss it. You ain't never asked. What I'm saying is. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's a lie for some people. Hey, I ain't doing it. But well, like you said. Everybody has a price, man. Everybody has a price. With Listen, the, man. With the millions. You do that. You do that and go back home. <laughs> with the millions, that if you hold his hand, really and walk down the street. Same since season seven. Hold his hand and walk down the street. One million. You do that. I do that. Yeah. You do that. That's what I'm saying. At some point, it gets to a lot. Yeah, we, <laughs> one 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 million. You in the front, he in the back, and y'all taking a picture like y'all couple. Doing what? Y'all taking a picture like y'all couple? Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no. Uh, laying chest to chest. Shake my head. <laughs> no. Y'all gonna, oh, oh, oh. Y'all, gonna, <laughs> y'all gonna lay down chest to chest? Hell no. Here's your million dollar check. <laughs> so we got it in cash right here. You sure? <laughs> Niggas start asking questions. How popular is y'all? Uh, <laughs> Sure. <laughs> right. What is going to be at? So where is going to be at? Why your head going viral in the hood? That's why EJ that soul is soul, boy. Oh, man. In other news, man. In other news, man. FYI. Have y'all heard about Regina Hall has admitted she's never heard of Nuff If You Buck before she did her last movie? Oh, for real? I saw that. That shit was hilarious. Never heard of that scene was hilarious. I ain't seen that movie yet, but I saw that shit. She seemed so out of place with uh, rapping that verse, man. You can just tell she was out of place rapping that damn verse. I mean, you know, she from D.C. She was probably about 30-something. I mean, but that, that was like an Atlanta local song. It only went hard in the hood. Everybody heard that. That's, that's what I'm saying. It only went hard in the hoods. In the hood. They weren't playing that. Uh, where she from? Yeah, she from D.C. She from D.C. From, she from the hood? She from or the she from? hood. Problem was, she wasn't in the hood when it came out. You got to think about it. Regina Hall, 51. That's my whole yeah, point. She, yeah, she, she, she had went to Hollywood. She's yeah, she she 51. When yeah. that song came out, she about 33 in Hollywood doing her thing. You know, when you, know, you know, start she, getting money, certain shit you don't even want to listen to. No, yeah, I can't wait to that. <laughs> <laughs> my tax was here one time. I was like, let me listen to some classical shit. Open up my mind. <laughs> start listening to Black Swan. Oh, man. I had $7,000. <laughs> it don't take much. Speaking of black, Black China has became the top earner of creator on OnlyFans of twenty million dollars per month. Black China. And she can't even get twenty million a month. Twenty million a month. Shout out to Black China. Oh, twenty million a month. Who, twenty who's, million a month. Who, who's gassing her? Like what? Who? That's a lot of bread, man. Is she mad like that to you? You know, most folks don't know how to cut off their subscriptions. <laughs> It's that reoccurring charge. It's Shit! It done went through it again. <laughs> oh, damn! This bitch gonna be rich off me. You gotta set an alarm. <laughs> you gotta set the alarm. Like, oh, a day before. Again. A day before. Uh-huh. Is, is, is she bad like that to you? No. She's not bad like that. You seen the video, man? She can't even get no head. I right. seen that too. I ain't seen the video. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, no well. enthusiasm. We gotta, we gotta yeah. set out a fence. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then oh, you got man. all this money. The camera was blurry. <laughs> You could have put more money into more, production. More quality. Maybe it'll look like something. She don't need to because somebody, she getting 20 million a month. So kudos to her. Get your money. Get your money. They shot that shit on a, a, also, a camera phone. Also, Barack Obama and Michelle Obama went back to the White House. The Obamas. They got a portrait in the White House now. They went back to the White House. I said yes, another term. They got they going. Oh, they're getting a portrait. <laughs> You know they ain't finna get no black man a third chance. <laughs> I mean, you never know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he may bring it up. Because what are you supposed to bring Michelle on as uh, vice listen, president? Listen, listen, it's the law. They I'm just saying, what are you supposed to bring before he uh, did Kamala or something like that? He's supposed to have Michelle Obama as vice president, vice president, vice president. I ain't kidding. Rumoring in the window. That's what niggas want Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what you in the hood listening to Nucky You Buck. And niggas is just like, hey, no. Michelle about to be vice president. Get out of the hood. You got to go to Hollywood. They ain't talking about that in Hollywood. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? And right now, you know what I'm saying? That is the hot trending topic that I got for you today. 
You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna move on to what we got the birthday, see what Virgos we, got, we birthday. still got out here, man. You we can do some birthdays. Yeah, uh, we'll first of birthdays. all, September is a busy ass month. So mid September, if you look it up, is the most birthday packed month time of the year. Yeah. You know, I, and I'm, I'm assuming because, uh, what's that? December? Holidays, it's cold. That's when you're in there, and then nine months later. That, that, that's when you what? That's when you're in there. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Do y'all agree with that? Nine months later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm asking you. I do either know. confirm okay, or deny. Study show. No, no, I'm, listen, I'm asking you. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> like, you you got to do a poll of when it's cold when you, outside, your day off. When it's cold outside. All you want to do, you know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got nothing else to do. You're in the house. Listen. You can only watch so many movies. <laughs> Before the movie start watching you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So so anyway, with the birthday, first of all, Beyonce. Yeah. Birthday this week. She's so. a Virgo? Yeah. Queen. How old is Beyonce? Quick. Go. 45. Close. 43. 41. 41. Uh, y'all know who Terry Ellis is? In Vogue? Yep. Yep. Terry yep. Ellis. Yep. Birthday. 59. I knew yeah. she was old. I knew she was old. <laughs> I, knew she was old. <laughs> I knew she was old. Chill out. Y'all know who Jeff Foxworthy is. <laughs> yeah. Jeff yeah. Foxworthy. He might be a redneck. Oh. Turns. 58. 62. 64. Yeah. He old. Rosie Perez. I know what that is. Oh. Still, still look good. Uh, she got the camera. Five. No. <laughs> Way off. That nigga said 35. 53. 66. She might have been 35 and do the right thing. Uh, 58. That was close. 58. Macy Gray. Oh, oh. <laughs> Y'all not fans of Macy Gray? No, no, no nobody. I mean. <laughs> close 45. <laughs> close. 55. 55. You're 10 years old. 10 years old. Y'all know who CC Pennison is? No. Yeah, BB and CC. No, no, not BB. There you go. BB and CC. Hey. What's the other one? CC Pennison. You might not get to have his gay speaking. You know, finally. Oh, CC. You know, CC Pennison. 53. Another Virgo. Idris Elba. Oh, let me know. How old is it? How old is it? You need your type? You don't like dark skin? I love dark skin. He's just not for you, not for you. <laughs> the accent messes See how he tried to throw salt on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like dark skin. I love dark Shut skin. Shut down. Light skin. Oh, she like, all. Hell, she like it all. She mm, like it all. Like it all. And, and you like them all in December. That would be, that's what you figured out. <laughs> right. It right. was December that she liked them. <laughs> right. She, she liked them all in December. Yeah. All yeah. in December. <laughs> yeah, Idris Elba is the big 50. He 50? 50. Yeah, Noriega, drink champs. What's up, homie? Noriega, 49. 45. No. 45. 45 years old. We got Big Boy, radio host. Nah, okay. Big Boy. Okay, he's ever been at 53. Yeah. He's 53. You are. 60. It's a slim chance. Actually, he might be. <laughs> a slim chance. <laughs> Michael in the building, man. <laughs> yeah, he is 53. Foxy Brown, not Pam Beer, but Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown is every bit of uh, 72. No, she ain't got a Foxy Brown is 51. <laughs> 44. 44. Here we go. Let's get some, let's get some legend in hey, here. Hey, we don't, we don't need to play the lottery. <laughs> nah, nah. Gloria Gaynor. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. She Glorilla? Of, she, uh. This man said Glorilla. She 19, man. I will survive. <laughs> Damn sure ain't 19. <laughs> Gloria Gaynor. Gloria Gaynor is 67. 79. Oh, 79. Yeah. 79. Since we talking legend, Gladys Knight. I'm Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight is up there with her too. She's 78. Gladys Knight is 80. 80. Damon Wayne. I bet that line is still. Damon Wayne. Damon Wayne. 56. 62. 62. 62, Damon Wayne. Don D.C. Curry, while we in the comedians. 63. Nah, he's 68. 64. 64. Close. 64. Leslie Jones. Your girl. He, uh. Disrespect on the show. No, shit. The comedian. She's talking about Leslie, Le- uh, Lisa Leslie. You talking about Lisa Leslie. <laughs> you know the comedian. 
and she be on. You know, she, she was on Coming to America she too. The mama or the prince. Ghostbusters. Too. Ghostbusters. You know what we see. Fifty five. Lorenz Tate. Oh, that nigga. Councilman Tate. Thirteen. Forty. Nigga got a little boy face. Four brothers. Forty seven. Fifteen. He a little young. His brother's younger, isn't he? No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Wiz Khalifa. He's 39. 30, 35. 35. 35. Yeah. 35. Since we talking boxing <laughs> earlier, Sugar Shane Mosley. Sugar Shane. 51. What y'all know about Anika Noni Rose? Okay. That's old girl from uh, Dream Girl. The Quad. The Quad. Jukebox. Yeah. That is that jukebox. That is a jukebox. Dream Girl, Princess Tiana. Princess Tiana. Jukebox. Not Jukebox. Power. Yeah. Power. Yeah. Power. Yeah. She's 50. 50. I still hear she's a great she, singer. She's 50? 50. She got green girls. That's why yeah. she on power. You know she was with Tiana cent. and the Princess and the Frog? Uh-huh. That was the boy. That was the boy. That was the boy. BDK, Big Daddy Kane. He dead? He still what? How old is Big Daddy Kane, eh? 54. 54. 54. And y'all probably don't know MC Shan. Oh, MC Shan. He's about 55. 58. Yeah, I'm going to say 60. 58. Yeah, he old. He old. So, uh, one one more thing. Easy E. Born September 7th, 63. R.I.P. Tommy from Mark. Ain't got no job. He was born. September. I don't know what day. He was born in 64. 64. And also, the first Waffle House was this week. Wow. First ever Waffle wow. House in 1955. That's I fucking love it. That, that, it had to be Waffle fun. House is a burger. The first one. <laughs> it was the first one. It was uh, in Avondale Estates. Yep. In it's, still there. It's, it's still there. It's a museum. It's, it's going to be a museum. museum now. They opening it wow. and yeah. on the 10th of September. Golly, the Waffle House is a burger. The first one. Wow. That shit crazy. That's why it clicked like that. I just had a Waffle House this morning. Ate a waffle in my shirt. Sent the video. There it is. There it is. And that's the birthday for the week, man. Happy appreciate birthday. it. Appreciate it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Man, this is Big Talk, Big Game, man. We're going to take a quick commercial break, man. When we come back, man, we, we got a lovely guest coming to the place with us. Oh, man. yeah. Big Talk, Big Game going to bless us with our presence in the game room. We got sister JJ coming in the building, man. When we come back tuned. only on Big Talk. Big Game. Yeah. Big time. This is Big Talk, Big Game, man. We back in effect, man. You know what I'm saying? Back. I appreciate y'all staying tuned with us, you know what I'm saying, each and every week. And like we promised y'all, we got a great oh, guest. Oh, great guest. Our guests. In the game room, Big Talk, Big Game. Come on, let's talk about we it. We got an actor. Huh? We got what? a designer. Okay. We got an indie artist. Uh-oh. We got a producer. Uh-oh. We got a director. She. We got a playwright. She. We got all the above here. Uh-huh. We got the one, the only, the, the only. lovely sister. JJ in the building. Yeah. 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 Black girl magic man is my baby. A lot of people out here. Sister JJ, you got a lot of titles right now. Yeah, I started looking around and said, what are you talking about? <laughs> How do you find time to do all of that type of stuff? Motivational speaker. I forgot about that too. You're a motivational speaker. You know, how do you find time to do all Life that? Coach. Right, I know what I'm trying to figure out how you find this. What, 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 what do we leave out? What do we what, leave out? We need a word for everything. Expelling. <laughs> no, oh, that's 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 damn. Oh, damn. Please say expelling. There's such thing as an expelling. I'm expelling. There's such thing as an expelling. Yes, it is. We ain't felons no more. Free. It's President's Virginia Institute. Got you, got you. Yeah. Man, like, you, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm, like, you, it's 24 hours in a day, so obviously you don't do everything every day, right? Correct. You know what I'm saying? So, Gotta delegate. So, <laughs> so, 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 as far as all your titles, which one do you find, like, you really enjoy more than the others? Well, everybody always asks me that, and I honestly have to say I enjoy all of them equally. It just depends on what's going on at the time. Like, now I'm into filming season per se. Mm-hmm. So I have a lot going on. Um, we have two publications that come out once a month. King Up Magazine, love to get you guys in here. Okay. And Baltimore Magazine, and we just highlight uh, everyday people doing extraordinary things. That's once a month. And the filming is when a uh, project comes comes to the table. Um, the modeling, I do that once a year. Models against cancer, so kind of balance it out and 
the book writing that just uh, like nine books on Amazon now. That just be those throughout who we are, number one sellers. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 I love a lockup of collaborating books, so um, it just balances out. Um, yeah, and they help all kind of ways. So, <laughs> gotta do something with hey, the time. Hey, 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 fellas. Hey, fellas. Hey, no, 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 no. no. Hey, wait till December. <laughs> <laughs> wait till December. They're coming in December. Wow. They're coming in December. They're coming in December. They're coming in December. They're coming in December. That's when I go in hibernation. I grind even more. Oh, well, you heard her, fellas. Hey, fellas. She's grinding hard in hibernation. She's grinding hard in December. When she locked in, she grinding hard. I'm trying to tell you, so you better be ready to handle this because she grinding. I'm trying to tell you, so you better be ready to handle this because she grinding. For real, you grind. You hear me? Oh, so you know what I'm saying? So you, so you up for ATL's hottest? You know what I'm saying? So are you up Shout for ATL's hottest? Award? Shout out to ATL's hottest. All this or not, or no, just certain categories? Uh, you in every category? No. Just both are in every category. Last year I was, last year I was in. It's up podcast. Both of us. This year I'm in two. Okay. Uh, I'm in hottest TV and film producer, and I did not know until somebody told me that I'm uh, uh, nominated for ATL hottest. Miss Hotties, I guess that's like a oh, okay. big one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I'm up against a lot of heavy hitters, so. Just okay, yeah. okay, okay. to be nominated. So, so were we. Yeah, we're going to have to get What up, Saga Boss? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know you guys are. He was up there with uh, 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 the church dude, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> on the red. Doesn't matter, they didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's, so let's take Little it back there. to the day, Jay. What got you started initially? Like, what was the, the beginning for you that said, you know what, this is what I'm doing, I'm going right. full drop? Okay, so my family is more like a security type of family. You know, get a job, 401k, get married, all that. And I've done all that stuff, but my, my I used to be a rapper before I got locked up. Okay. <laughs> Karis one, called my man just to sign me, but Ooh. I just started. Hey, you, 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 you not just going to slide. You just going to slide that name all over there like Karis a yeah. professor. Yeah. Called your man. My was a Black Knight Entertainment. Shout out to those guys. And um, when I... The week that I got locked up, they called my management team on the talk deal. But I was looking at 50 years, so they went out the door. <laughs> and guess what? So did you. You're free. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm glad you're free. So, Dang, so, 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 when you got out, did you try to connect that back? Like, you no, trying to keep the dots connected? No, I was so mad and angry with my team because I felt like they abandoned they me. They you up? Oh, okay. No, they, they didn't set me up. They didn't even know I was rocking the way I was rocking. And so, um, I was just kind of like to myself. Like, you know, the guys left me out there. I, I didn't think about the fact that I was the red one. You know what I mean? Mm, I just okay. looked at the fact that you guys left me. So, I stayed in Virginia. I didn't go back to Baltimore. And just try to do, you know, the right thing and um, live the way my parents felt like I right. should have lived. But, but my my desire for the entertainment business was just like right there. I always found myself doing something in the entertainment. Mm -hmm. And I just told my mom, dude, so I was like, look, I got to do me or I'm going to die. I mean, I got a master's in business uh, marketing. Just trying to do what's right. Got married. He wanted to do crack, you know, so we got divorced. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do me. Wow. So crack is the deal breaker. <laughs> Fellas, y'all hear it? <laughs> crack is the deal breaker. Crack is the deal breaker. That's the deal breaker. That's the deal breaker. Don't be crack. Don't be crack. Crack is whack. Don't be crack. Can't get with Sister J now. It depends on the situation. We'll get into it. So, so, so. so, so, so. Try to lose weight. Crack is orange. It's my hope. But. I said that they did that. You try to lose everything. So it seems like you had like a really, you know what I'm saying, a really, you know what I'm saying, a rough life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I actually had a, a interesting life because my mom, Dukes, and my dad, they did a really good job with raising us. I just chose the street, you know. The streets of you, Virginia? Uh, I started hustling in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I took the game to Virginia because I could make more money. And then, a lot of uh, people do that. What part of Virginia? Richmond, Virginia, Petersburg, okay. Virginia. Yeah, yeah. I'm from, I'm from Newport. So okay, I'm what's up? Bad news. Oh, that's good. Cool. My yeah. grandma yeah. smoked Newport. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, man. She, she ain't the only one. Joke. She wasn't the only one. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so I mean, I mean, I wasn't like raised on the streets of Baltimore. I just chose, chose because it was, I liked it. What age was this when you actually oh, got into that? I started, uh, Hanging out behind my mom's back, like 14, 15. So living like a double life, you know, being the good girl, the valley girl, yeah. you know, but then go to school and take all the good clothes off. So, so, which so, you, so you wore a lot of hats back then, too. So oh, yeah. It's natural for you to Yeah. I tell my mom, so you should have chose your daddy back, 
<laughs> you told your mama that at 14? No, I told her I was grown. She knew better. I was on the phone. She was in another state. See, my reaction was like, yeah, no. <laughs> not to the streets, but what she said to her mom. Yeah, yeah. Like the streets, I. Right, but you said that to your mom. <laughs> she was in another state. I made sure she was. Like, she a fella for real. <laughs> hey, you knew what she said? She said, I made sure I was on the phone in another state. Oh, yeah. So she yeah. couldn't get to me. She was like, hung up for me. You should have shook your butt up there. <laughs> oh, why the hell I do that? Make sure she ain't coming. Right, right. Everybody be quiet, don't say nothing. <laughs> Scared to come out that for a week. Yeah. So, so, so in 14, 15, you started doing this or whatnot. So by the time you was probably 21, 22, you probably like a vet in the game. Then. <laughs> I mean, guys, doing what I do, basically. Just doing what I do. You know, because you live in Baltimore. It's Baltimore is like, it's, it's what's up. I love, I don't I mean, I love Baltimore, I don't ever want to live there again, but I tell anybody, you know, if the streets is, people say, sin is we so scary, it's fun, if that's what you into, but at the same time, it's dangerous, you know, and then I love that life, I came up with the rappers and all of that, and when I realized I could flow, and then guys were like, oh, she's dope, she's dope, you know, so. Spit something real quick. It is fun. <laughs> and, I, and I know you said you were fun. like, you know, you, you, she should have chosen baby daddy or a better baby daddy or whatnot. But were you actually in your dad's life at all? Was he in your life at all? So my know? natural father wasn't in my life, but my my stepdad was in my life from the beginning, like an excellent dad. Stepdad like, up. real talk, my parents did a very good job of raising us. Okay. And I'm one of those ones that you can't say what was the parent. Right. My parents were great. You know what I mean? Right. It's just that I I love the streets. Chose the streets. Yeah. You know, I was talking about I, I love the streets until I realized that, you know. Streets don't love nobody. Talk about it. Yeah. Talk about it. Yeah. You know? So I've always been a hustler, but now I learn how to hustle different. You know, I hustle mm-hmm. legal. Still hustling and doing all I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. But like you said, you know how to do it. You know how what it takes to get what you need. Yeah. Exactly. And see, my mom had, she had me ra- had me around a lot of guys, so you know I took on a lot of guys' mannerism, listening yeah. to them. Because her thing was, I don't want you to be out there, da da da. So stay with your cousins and what have you. So I'm watching what they do. I'm like, oh, okay. And then me, I'm like, I can do what you do. Do it better. Yeah. You know. Right. So you know that type of thing. Okay. You know what I'm like, so now you're here in Atlanta, <clears throat> you're doing your thing or whatnot, you, uh, you was actually in the shell of a man. I was in the shell of a man last year and I'm hosting it this year. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. so I guess Tina likes you. Shout out Tina B, what's happening Tina? Tina. 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 I actually came in, uh, you know, me and, uh, did we all three go that time? We did. Okay, yeah. so we, we, we all three went on yeah. and went to my shell of a man. It was amazing. I enjoyed myself. Yeah, yeah. 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 I played uh, the female with the, the, the jealous cat, Don Don was not. Yeah, that was the, uh, the, uh, the, the, mm-hmm. the glasses. Or and what? the dreads. Yeah, dreads, yeah, yeah. 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 That's a good yeah. show. Shout out Mike Goldman. man. You, uh, you was in there. You was in that thing. Mike went in this year, too. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all actually got it coming up. Uh, September 25th. 25th. Y'all, just, y'all just did it, though, didn't you? August 28th, I want to say. I don't know what they did August 28th, but. Didn't they just do it August 28th or something like that? Didn't they just do it? That must have been something else she was talking about. Yeah, I'm just talking about it. I remember this stuff to her in 25th. Oh, no, 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 no. It was going to be August 28th. See, I, I yeah. knew it was something that I was talking to her about. It was going to be August 28th, and then she's um, uh, pushed it back to September 28th. I remember her pushing it. Okay. Yeah. Because I had reached out to her because I was like, asking if she needed some more guys to be a part of it. And that's oh, what she wow. gave me the 28th or whatnot. I was like, nah, I can't do the 28th. She was like, well, man, I may need somebody for the 20 foot, but I guess she already got her guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wanted to play uh, the old boy role that actually. Beetle? Yeah, the Beetle. That's what I wanted to play. Oh, Garrett? Yeah, oh, I'm excited about that one. <laughs> you can look too happy when you want to play that one. Yeah, <laughs> look at you backed up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. He was happy when he seen me. Like, I could do that. <laughs> I, don't I think there's enough light nice skinned guys in the cast. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quota. It's no, a no, quota because, I'm, because I'm tall and I'm, I, I can already tower. You can be in the tall of pair, so I feel like that would be a good role for me already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As it is, you know, so. They might have an opening for P Valley. That's we talked about that earlier. Yeah. I laugh. That's one of the <laughs> might have an opening on the lower end, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta start from the bottom though if you're gonna do that. You gotta start on the bottom. 
So, you got that, right? I so, 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 so before the shuttle of man comes out, though, you actually have something coming out on the 18th of this month when life happens, starring T. Cool. When yes. life happens. When life T-C. happens. Yep. So, 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 so tell the people about that, you know, that may not, so, you know what I'm saying? When life happens is, I do a, right now, I'm in a place where I write a lot that's uplifting men and allowing people to look inside what's going on in a man's head. I think that's why that. man Tina cooks so um, well because she's got the shell of a man. Last year, I had men pray too. And so this year, we did the yeah. stage play, then we did the movie, which she was in that as well. And then this year, um, <coughs> I'm doing When Life Happens. And uh, that's about uh, a family that's affected by COVID. And TC, who is the main character, he makes some very unwise decisions that I don't want to give it away, but it's really causing some issues with the family. Yeah, hey, we ain't saying nothing. You got to go watch it on the 18th. I mean, hey, that, that's all you're going to say. Come on out. And you guys are invited. Right. All right, I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. September 18th? September 18th. That's a Sunday. It's my birthday. That's his birthday now. Okay. Uh, ain't going to need to be in there. Ain't even going to be here. Uh, can I'll be here. Can they bootleg it for me? No. <laughs> hey, look, when you put that man, I know I made it. I know I made it. Right. So I'm going to put that man, you're going to get mad. I'm like, you're going to put that man, you're going to put that man. 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 I definitely, I want to say for you and Tina, I appreciate y'all looking at stuff from a male yeah. perspective and then it's a black woman behind it. You know, that means something to us. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, kudos for that. And, and, and like we told Tina, we're going to tell you as well, you know what I'm saying? Like we're actors as well. So we definitely, you know, if you're ever looking for... I'm always good. I got the plug on you when I get Micah. I always got the plug on you. Okay, well, I appreciate that, Mike. Michael. Michael, hey, shout out. Michael's a man, that, yo. Michael's a man. But just the real? Michael's in Michael's in where life happened. Wow. You, you didn't tell me about that. Yo, he got a said, I can't give it all away. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you a plug. <laughs> <laughs> you give a nigga a plug, he won't yeah. sock you. You know what I'm saying? He's going to come with me. You know, he one of them dudes like, well, let me make it first, and then I'm going to get that. <laughs> then they call that the brand new one. They say, I ain't got no time, but I'm out here. I'm out here. He drops it and keep moving. I like how you do with that. You know, and keep walking. You got to catch it because I'm short. I'll be like, I'm going to say it again. You know, I can't catch that. See, see, I, I, see, I, see, I know what it is. See, Michael be sending me them reels or whatnot. That's what's calling me, y'all. The whole time he ain't when life had happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he got me watching these reels. I'm like, oh, okay, you know these reels, you know what I'm saying? But then the whole time he ain't when, he ain't when life has happened. Like, yeah, yeah, you Mike, got, I mean, got a facade going on. Yeah, yeah you know, Mike, Mike from, he from Minnesota, right? You know, that's that prince. You know, they got to take care of themselves. <laughs> 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 you know, that's that time and that prince stuff. Ah, ah, you know what I'm saying? You've been real Minnesota. You know what I'm saying? What they do? I don't do that. Oh, oh, oh. I've heard. You know that? I'm like, ooh. You know what I'm saying? Hey, girl. shout out to Michael in the building, man. In the building. What's up, y'all? What's up? <laughs> Minnesota, Michael. Oh, oh, man. Got a little crazy. <laughs> Turn it into a half bird of her. Just start. <laughs> y'all know what I'm talking about. You two, y'all, y'all young folks, you two the time. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. That's my first time seeing it. I, 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 I know you're talking about. That's the bird. 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 That's the The time, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 When you watch it, you're gonna be like, this is the shit. Right, that, that that is is it, yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? So also what you do, you do uh you do models for cancer. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I saw it as well. You know, can you uh give that that, please? Please. So models against cancer this Against will... cancer. Okay. Yeah, models he against said cancer. models for cancer. Well I mean they're they models what? for you know what I'm saying, like yeah. for the There's for the call. Yeah, the models for the call. Models against cancer. Just so this will be our ninth year doing it, three years here. This will be our third year here in uh Georgia doing it. We did it six years in Virginia. Uh, we honor five cancer survivors. This year, we're going to give a monetary donation to two cancer fighters. Usually, it's one, but this year, we're going to up it. I absolutely make no money off of this. I do retrieve when I put out. That's only fair. Right. So, I, whatever I put out, right. that bad. Right. But as far as making a profit right. off of it, mm-hmm. we give the money to 
the um, recipient right in front of everybody. Let's go. So okay. that there's Excellent. no issues. Excellent. Excellent. The cancer survivors that are in the audience, we I don't like to give it away. We have a little something for you guys. Okay. And the cancer fighters that, that are in the audience as well, we pray over them. My thing is, um, just and I don't want to come from the streets, even though I'm raised in the streets, but coming from the streets, I, my, our mentality was, if one person had a beef with somebody, what you do, you go get your crew. Mm -hmm. And you get your crew, everybody come and you rock out, right? Well, so it's like, if you got cancer, yo, then we all gonna rock out with you. Yeah, yeah, right. We ain't right. fighting this by that's yourself, hard. we got you. Right, that's you know? that's so hard. That's what it's so about. Is, a, is it a runway show? It is a runway okay. show, so I, I, I do... We still do that's crazy. Hey, we still do that. But we turn the runway into a victory. So, okay. Yeah, so we do to because when people are in cancer, they I'm fight cancer, them. they mm -hmm. don't feel beautiful anymore. Right, right. They don't feel good anymore. So what I decided to do was use our beauty and our gifts to give them back that feeling of right. that beautiful for that Comment. one evening yeah. you know we got you I like that you so, it's, so is it just like a, a, a model runway or is it like it's performances a, it's a fashion show we got entertainers okay. we got uh, we have some uh, I don't want to give it away but we have some household names that can't be there so they're going to send some plugs okay. and mm. uh, bless the people let them know hey we, we there with you okay. yeah. so yeah we're going to be we're going to be making that happen that's so, right. yeah. that's and they good. love it I mean and it, to me it's like when you think about it, how many of us really do give back? And then when you do give to an organization, how many organizations are really doing what they say they're going to do? You yeah, know right, what I'm saying? Right. So that's my yeah. thing. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you're you doing a lot of things out here. I mean, like, I ain't going to lie to you. I mean, you... And it's you not, doing your thing. I like you know what I'm saying? Like you, you, for you like you like walk the house. You on every corner. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's, it's, well, it's, it's authentic. The authenticity. Right. Like you on every corner, man. It's authentic. You know what I'm saying? Everything. It's organic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Really? They saying something. Yeah. So and one, you gotta come in. Right. And one thing, <laughs> one thing that you touched small on, and I had, I got to come back to it. You was an artist. Or are you still currently an artist? So I'm gonna shout out to BJ and to my auntie. BJ. Because when I um, got locked up and then I came home, I pretty much just just let it go. But I always dibble and dabble, like if I'm acting, I do a little something, you know. And um, BJ was like, I was playing around at Models Against Kids, I think it was, and he was like, you need to go ahead and do it for real, do it for real. So I was like, ah, I ain't doing that. And I just couldn't go to sleep, so I just got the right. I'm not a freestyler. I'm a writer, Most definitely. you know, and then I, um, I just did it, so I got a single out, The Queen is Here, The Boss Made the Anthem. <laughs> um, okay, the single's yeah. out. Yeah, the single's out, the streaming queen on is all here. platforms. Yeah, yeah. The Queen yeah. is Here, so do you pull it up and play it? Do you mind yeah. going to say and give us a little bit real quick? Yeah, The Queen is Here, The Queen is Here, Head bows, knees drop, y'all know the deal, little girls want to play with Big Mama's here, take a pen in the pad. Class and session, gonna teach you what your mama, then you about to learn a lesson. Little girls want joys, grown women talk stacks. Car notes, bank rolls, talking money facts. Mm. For a one baby, yeah, that turns me on. Why you living with your mama? I'm talking millionaire homes. You calling me a queen? Yo, I'm looking for my king. Man up, stand up, ain't scared to drop a ring. Step like a soldier, rise to the bar. Why you dreaming for today? Yo, I'm living for tomorrow. You call it gold digging, but I call it pay that pop up with Drop your baby so fast that I call you a sniper. Yeah, 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 Make sure you got all this down in December. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you got Can't be saying with your mama.
right way. Marijuana, no, cocaine, no, heroin. Okay, you know cocaine. No drugs. No drugs. <laughs> right. Right. Not even right. Robitussin. Not even Thurflu. Right. <laughs> right. Not even Thurflu. Not even Thurflu. Right. No Thurflu. Your throat hurt, get a red rock. She don't do no... <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, ginger ale, saltine. Ginger ale, there you go. And watch some stories. You'll get that. Stupid. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm saying? So, we, we, we definitely want to say that. You know what I'm saying? We love you. know what I'm saying? We love your energy. We definitely want to support you. You know what I'm saying? Sunday, September 18th, right? Yep. You know what I'm saying? And on the event, right? Be, well, this is the thing. All we got is general admission tickets left. VIP is sold out. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I got a feeling you're gonna get food leg, girl. <laughs> there it is. Oh man. Where can they get the tickets in? Eventbrite. Eventbrite. And when life happened, general admission and those tickets are gonna be on sale until September the 10th because we almost sold out of those. Mm. So you got two days. You got two days. <laughs> two days. So, so that's so that's till this Saturday, man. September 10th. Only on Big Talk Big Game. We telling you right now. Two days. Two days. <laughs> and is it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So, what we like to do on the show as well, Miss Sister JJ, is like we like to have fun. All right? I see. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) And as you can see, we we clown, we act up, we do what we want to do or whatnot. But we want to know about Sister JJ outside of the business mind, out the workhouse. You know what I'm saying? saying? When you clock out, we want to know who you really are. Yeah. You know, you ever seen a co-worker in public like, Sharon, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We want to know the real you off the clock. When you, when, 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 when you at Kroger's, you know what I'm saying, getting, you know what I'm saying, your bottle of liquor or whatever, you know what I'm saying? We want to know that sister, JJ. Bottle of liquor? I'm really Who are you at? He was drunk. He thought he was at Kroger's. He was at Hal's Package Stop. <laughs> Trying to pick up men. A memorial somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we just gonna do some rapid fire, okay. random ass questions. Okay. That's all. all right. So, okay, with a question. top question: Do you sleep under your covers or under your covers and sheets at the same time? <laughs> it depends. Sometimes I sleep under the cover, but if, 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 sometimes I don't. I just I feel like a nut sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> Bella, December. <laughs> December. <laughs> All right, I got it. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> Random question. Because this is just something I want to know. Random question. Um, is a Kit Kat a candy bar? <laughs> and if so, is it one or four? I'm just, we just trying to get to know. I feel you. Um, I ain't really into candy. But um, it's a candy bar that is cut into fours. Okay, so it's one candy bar cut. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Since we talked about food. Okay. Is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> 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 we wanted to know that. Hey, hey, that's a good question. That's we wanted to know that. That's, that's a good ass question. Well, I've been there, I don't or, eat Or is it a sauce? I don't really care. Oh, you don't eat meat. Okay. I don't eat that animal. Vegan hot dog. I'm a, I'm a oh, only fish. 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 Po' boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> so that includes shrimp, right? In case yeah, those that, that don't that, know, that, that includes that, shrimp. Okay. Yeah, in the water. In the water. Okay. Okay. Um. So I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but at one point, you, at one point, at somewhere in your life, right. you made a hot dog. You got some hot dogs right. for kids. Right. And you said, "Come get this hot dog sandwich." I don't say, "Come get no sandwich." Come get this hot dog. It's in, the, it's in the category by itself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> respectable. Right. Hey, respectable. <laughs> Since we talking about food, still. Okay. Do you prefer to cook or clean more? <laughs> I, I don't prefer <laughs> Neither one. So, you y'all know when you come knocking on my door in December. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we give y'all the two. Right. Come right. with your chef hat on. No and your hat. <laughs> Stop by come, slutty come meat. With the chef. <laughs> Stop, by, Stop by the fish market. <laughs> right, right. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear yeah. the song? Come with the chef. Come with you, because why the chef cooking? So, so, yeah, so, 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 we can be cooking. Hey, oh, right. hey, oh, oh, I see where you're going with it. Sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Are you going to be on top of the cover or underneath the cover? You know, I'm getting stuffed salmon. I got you. I hear where you're coming from. You're talking about the millionaire, huh? Hey, can't be at your mama. Okay, uh, <laughs> what's your favorite dish? <laughs> you gonna 
trip off of me. But my favorite dish is pizza and french fries. I Wait a minute. Oh, where the oh, fish what? come in? Right. No, that, that's why she said we're gonna trip off of her. So, pizza and french fries. is it one of them cauliflower pizzas with the? I don't know. Okay, I, cheese pizza with french fries is about it. I mean, I eat and I go to nice restaurants, but you say what's my favorite? I'm gonna tell you, pizza and french fries. That's, that's a cheat day. Okay, that's a cheat day. Nah, you you can't take me to get no money. Eh, you can't, you can we, say it. We, okay, we, 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 we can say it. Well, you can't take her to. That's my fact. That's my Nobody going on the first day at fucking Pizza Hut. Yeah, you better. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> now, I, I, I don't know now because Nancy's got some good pizza. So you didn't make Nancy's got some good pizza. Nancy's kind of pricey. She may go to Nancy's on the first day. She may go to Nancy's on the first day. She may go to Nancy's on the first day. She may go to Nancy's on the first day. She may go to Nancy's on the first day. She She may go to Nancy's on the first day. She ain't playing with you. Ah, I'd rather bring the chef. <laughs> I'll bring the chef. We'll door dash you. <laughs> That's another option. Yeah. That's another yeah. option. Yeah. I mean, we be thinking mm-hmm. over here. No, oh, I, li- I like, I like, uh, I like, I like almost every type of fish, macaroni and cheese. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I like wow. Interesting. So you'll eat the soul food? Uh, I don't, I never really ate, I never normally ate pork. So, you know, soul food to me, and I, I mean, family do the collard greens without the meat, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. I'm kind of like a healthy soul food. Person. So you do like the kale? I like mm-hmm. the kale. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I like the kale. You tough. Yeah, right. I like the kale, the spinach, all that good stuff. Kiss or this? Omar Epps, LL Cool J. Oh, Omar Epps, the big eyes? Yeah. Played on I'm loving basketball. Yeah, yeah. He don't look like that. Damn. Oh my Elves look like uh Mr. Brown. Oh my god. Like rock. I don't know. 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 So damn, that gonna do all right like that. So here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. LL Cool J when it was Mama said so, not you out. Mama, okay, 90s, early 90s. Omar Epps, how I learned. There you go. <laughs> Omar Epps, basketball. How old is he? Juice. So you kissing him and dissing him? <laughs> I'm going to kiss him if he looked like he was with loving basketball. <laughs> but then I'm going to kiss LL for Mama said Mama knock said you out. Okay, so, 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 that, so let's put both of them side by side. Mama said knock you out, loving basketball, they right there, right now. Bow. Who you kissing, who you dissing? How you dressing it? <laughs> <laughs> Fellas, in December, make sure you breath. Have clean breath. That makes a, that makes a big difference. How you breath? <laughs> what kind of cologne you got on? My if you got your dress draws cologne on, then I may go with LL. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. But I'm like a dark skin brother, so I might go on my hair. You know. You gotta make a decision. That's what I'm I feel like. <laughs> I'm single. I can do what I want. Fellas, bring your homeboy. Which I'm gonna call. What the fuck? Bring your homeboy. We know I'm a Nadia Tar. He got me a Nadia. That was a new one. That was a temperature check. I'm trying to let y'all know. He got me a Nadia. He can come in. He can leave out. No, no, no. Oh, homeboy. Fellas, have your own car. No trains. No public transportation. No. Yes. <laughs> now this is bringing that money bag over there. Oh, Bring your money bag, yo, with you. <laughs> bring, <laughs> you bring your home, boy. You might get locked outside. <laughs> Shit. We out here choosing. She choosing. <laughs> Damn. Bring the ugly one. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that way your 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 your, your real estate go up. Yeah. Hey, yeah. December is a big month for y'all, fellas. December is a big month. Oh man, your biggest fear. I don't got no fears. I already lived my fear. That was pretty. Oh, good. I, that was a good. Answer. That was a good. Answer. You into fashion? You prefer summer fashion or winter fashion? Or spring, I prefer. Fall, I prefer. Uh, I just had this conversation with somebody. I don't like the winter, even though I'm a winter baby. But um, I like it because you can do a lot for winter. But I mm-hmm. really would rather just do my little summer spring. Yeah. You know? Because okay. I can keep it going. I'm going to ask you this question. Oh, hold on. Let me get okay, it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. So, 
What's one thing that you haven't achieved yet? That's that million dollars. Okay. That million dollar journey thing. I feel it. I feel and when it. I get it, you know, I got four kids and I ain't want them to be lonely. So when I get that first meal, I gotta go get some more. Okay. Mm, All right. Okay. I was so, so when she get that meal in December, fellas. Uh, don't come knocking on my door. <laughs> don't come knocking <laughs> on the door. Hey, you didn't even get past the gate. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go throw it out there. So the fellas that's in December, you need to listen to this question, and listen to an answer, so you don't choose this area. Okay. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Wildest place you ever had sex. <laughs> oh my God! Oh no! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a Makes sense. With another hell of a word. 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 Oh man! I, oh, when is oh. the memoir coming? Out? <laughs> right, right. Like, when is the autobiography, the biopic coming out? Do, do, do! Just uh, hit me up. I help film. I'm gonna follow my assistant director. Hey, I want to be a uh, be my Facebook friend. I'm like, real him back. Did you hear what he said though? He gonna do what? I help film this. Yeah, film when we do the bio okay. PSA, he's gonna, he's gonna do that. Sheriff so. office booking room. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I can do all. I can set that up. <laughs> do a couple of practice shots. I, 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 I would never. I would never thought that. I told you to be ready for anything. Be ready. But yes. that's why we want to know <laughs> Sister JJ. We getting to know Sister JJ. My last question for you, since you in the business, you in the industry, your two top favorite actresses right now in the game. <laughs> Two I'm gonna always love Robert Townsend. He's a director. I know mm-hmm. he's a director. He's right. an actor. Too. He's an actor. Mm-hmm. You know, and um, I gotta give it up to Regina King. Though. She killed it. It was her oh, yeah. son that killed herself, but. Yeah. Shout out to that question. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert yeah. Townsend, Regina King. There's a few of them that I really, really like, but the reason why I choose those is because. Regina Queen, I mean, Regina King, the way she moved, you just didn't even expect for this queen to be rocking the way she rocked. Right. Right. You know, right. I, and, and, and definitely Oprah Winfrey because she, she's doing her thing, but Regina King because she's doing what she's doing and, and, and she's making moves. And I know that when she get through this situation, she's going to come back even more powerful. Yeah. You know? yeah. And Robert Towson, I just always like how his style, I, just love, I love the fact that how he could act and direct and produce. And right, and stuff yeah. like that. Gotcha. Five heartbeats are temptations. Yo, <laughs> is there a house in the house tonight? Hey, stand, stand up! Stand up! Stand <laughs> oh, man. But you oh, know what made that, that movie yeah. hard? Yeah. The crack. <laughs> 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 so, are you sure you like that movie still? Yo, I can't stand him. Yo. <laughs> It wasn't for the crack. No, I can't stand it. I went and had that fire. You see how hard he was sweating? They had just got there. Hey, man, you gonna make my eyelashes fall off your head. <laughs> Dang! How it feels. How it feels. You sure y'all wanna hang with old Eddie King? <laughs> hey, he was feeling so down and out. <laughs> All nice around, good move. Office hours, nine to five. Oh. I would have told the Temptations. Who do you think went the hardest, David Ruffin or Eddie Kane? David Ruffin or Eddie Kane? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 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 Both of them had that same suit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yo. I don't even know. I would say David oh, Ruffin. I would say Eddie Kane because. David got so high, that nigga was missing show. <laughs> hey, no hey, hey, go hey, tickets. You hey. gonna be there? Can't yeah, get him to be there. This say this 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 say they gonna say this for Saturday. Saturday. Yes, yeah. I missed it. It's Saturday. Guess I missed it. I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> say, shit, I missed another show. Damn. <laughs> I said, get something up to me. That dude was on some powerful shit. Hey, and I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to fuck you up too. That 
Vegas, they were rubbing the hop on stage and men performing. And ran off, man. <laughs> <laughs> he said, my name is David Ruffin, and these are. <laughs> <laughs> With E. Cal on Big Talk, Big Game. Most definitely. Okay, so who's capping this segment of the show where I give you an article and give you an excerpt from the article and you got to figure out if it's fact or cap. Okay? Now, I'm guaranteeing victory for him and something that's not going to Yeah, because we don't, we don't know what the hell. They never we know. Uh, so, we just got one story today. And it's entitled, Junk Man. Junk Man. In a quiet neighborhood in Detroit, there has been a serial flasher on the loose. Women and men have encountered a black male in a blue robe flashing, shaking, and running away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she already laughed. What is that? She got a little happy over there. What's the name of Detroit. <laughs> Junk Man. Say that story one more, one more time. In a quiet neighborhood in Detroit, there has been a serial flasher on the loose. <laughs> Women and men have encountered a black male in a blue robe flashing, shaking, and running away. I think it's true. Jump man. Because I can just see. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, right. I, think it's true. <laughs> I think it's true too, just based off how she was laughing and how she did it. I can see a man doing that, dog. I can see that. I'm gonna go with true and I'm locking that in and guaranteeing that. That's true. It looked like, look like she's ready to encounter it. <laughs> Every time I read the stuff. <laughs> right, right. I'm like, you look like, like she's ready to him. I like that. I think it's true. Uh, I'm gonna go with true too. What y'all think out there? I think that's probably true. That happens in Atlanta, Detroit, <laughs> Alabama. It'll happen everywhere. What's so you at? I'm going to say cat. Okay. Yeah, kind of true. Don't try. Oh, yeah. true. What they, what they saying on? I see some caps. <laughs> yeah, they saying cap. All right. Well, when it comes down to the story of Junk Man in a quiet neighborhood in Detroit, there has been a serial flasher on the loose. Serial. Women and men have encountered a black male in a blue robe flashing, shaking, and running away. <laughs> that story <laughs> is cow. Cow, cow, cow. Oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. It's somebody in Detroit flashing somebody. somebody. Yeah. He that. might not be in a blue robe. He might be a red robe. <laughs> he might not even be black. He might be white. <laughs> somebody he's out there. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. It might be white. Not right now, it's not. Yeah, no, not right now, it's not. No, not right now. We're right in a different. This is this is after the pandemic. A lot of stuff done changed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. White people doing black people crying. Black people doing white people crying. Paul Moody said black people doing white. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad that you came on the show because I've been wanting the female to come on our show again before I ask one of these questions or whatnot. Can we do a question of the day? It's time for the question of the day with d Red. And I want to know your opinions. We got a couple females in here. We got guys in here as well. So the question of the day is... Once a cheater, always a cheater? No. No. Because the reason why I said it, because you have a lot of women out there that be like, hey, 
They don't forget that, and they will use that for the rest of the time they with you. Mm -hmm. They will yeah, keep bringing yeah. it up, like, well, you need to get that bitch, you know what I'm saying, to do some shit for you. Well, see, oh, so you still see that shit. Well, that's a good card. Let me ask you this, Did you use the cheat? I ain't gonna lie, I cheated before I passed a relationship, yeah. You still cheat? No. Look at the smile. This nigga right here, dog. This nigga right here, man. Cap! This nigga right here, dog. Look at his face, dog. There it is. Look at his devious acting up. That did not come from a good place. Y'all ladies listening? Look at him. Look at him. Right here, dog. But I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying, though, you know, like, you got women out here and men too that you know what I'm saying, even on the man's side, if a woman cheats on a man one time, they done with it. Oh, it's over. Right, they done. Over. It's over. So it's like they consider them a cheater basically for the rest of the time they there. I mean you got you know, women you don't cheat emo they put their emotions women are smarter. in there. Smarter. Women are smarter. Right? If a woman yeah. cheats, she done been left you in her mind already. Yeah, she yeah. just dealt yeah. with if, you. If a woman cheat, there was already signs that, yeah. she, that she was gonna do but it. But still though, if she only did it one time, a <laughs> man don't care. One time yeah. is enough. They gone. Yeah, yeah, that's just like even even if you the do take it back. Different. The standards are different. Yeah, that one different. consideration, nigga gonna be like, did you suck a dick? <laughs> that's a deal so, that's so, deal who, be, who better? That's a deal breaker. Was he better than me? Because he's trying to figure out. He's trying to figure out. Is he bigger than me? Was he bigger than me? Right. I heard one meat, conversation. She was like, "We tried to, but that we couldn't." What the fuck you mean? He was too big. It didn't fit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, what fuck you mean it didn't fit? I fit. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you oh, that's shade, that's shade under the ground. I'd, yeah, I'd have left that bitch. <laughs> but but yeah, I but, couldn't but, do it, because in the back of my head, I'm always, damn, I'm in here, and if, if he'd have got in here, this shit would have been a hallway. <laughs> like throwing a penny in the ocean. I wouldn't have Probably no effect on When women cheat, they ain't shit. <laughs> you said what? And women cheat, they ain't shit. Yeah. Cause they say shit like that yeah. to cut you even deeper. Yeah. Oh, okay. Grumble on the belt, baby. Yeah, yeah, they grumble on the belt. Women, woo! Dudes wow. cheat, they just stupid. But it's but in society though, as you look at society, we may say once a cheater, not all the cheater, but in society as a whole, do you think that society thinks one time? You well, the reason why one reason why females feel like that is because a lot of times when a man cheat one time. He's gonna cheat again a lot of times because he's gotten away with it. And so men cheat for different reasons. I'm not gonna get into the analytical part of that, but that's why females feel the way they feel. And I mean, I'm not gonna say women ain't cry. It's just the fact that women want that do because we are lethal with our mouth. You guys are powerful. We're powerful with our mouth. You guys are powerful with your fists. So we want you all to feel the same type of hurt and pain that we feel when we find out that you was with that chick. Because women go through the same thing, like you said, was he bigger than me? Well then, females, was butt bigger than mine? Or the breast bigger than mine? So she's prettier than me? She lighter than me? Look at Lil' Kim. She, she got that question. She's totally light-skinned, yo. Who's so dick Totally light-skinned because of faith, everything. It's usually because they have with her. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. it's like, she was there. women go through a whole lot of issues. Where yeah. women, and women Who, are Kim? more of a receiver. Men are more of the positive. So you can love a female. You can love Buddha. your queen, but your, 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 your lion in you wants to just dominate or, or, or get another notch on your belt. You don't even got love for it. You just want to be able to know that you can you can get it. Sport. And, and you got, yeah, so men got to stop. I got to show my son, so you got to feel confident within yourself and know that it takes a stronger man to be satisfied with the queen that he got. It takes more of a stronger man to be satisfied with that because okay. allocates are all around. Allocates are all around. And you got you got to think True. about that. So, I, I, me personally, I'm not gonna say once a cheater, always a cheater. But if you cheat one time, hey player, <laughs> don't respect my, don't respect the things that you was getting before, because we're gonna we gonna send. If I if I got it in my mind, I wanna talk about it, cause I if nine times out of ten, the female not gonna leave, cause she's emotionally emotionally attached, mm -hmm. and she doesn't know how to release that hurt and that pain, because for one, she's scared you're gonna do it again, then she feel betrayed. The worst thing you can do is betray a female that's giving you her all. I ain't saying that she's being perfect, but she's giving you the best of what she got. 
and then you cheat on her, and then you making a fool of her, especially when everybody else knows. That's the same thing with a man too, though. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the same thing. Yeah. I'm just speaking from the from that perspective, you know. And and, and so 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 why stay in a relationship if you already so know why if you already broke? Relationship, why stay there because they are they are they are still emotionally mm-hmm. attached, and right. then there's a thing called so you said it's the soul ties, but also she ain't gonna win. Why you said that? That's how that's how some females feel. Oh, no, she ain't gonna win. I'm you gonna stay right here with me. You think I'm finna let you go Territory. so that bitch can have you? There you go. Okay. Hey, both of y'all yeah. went in on the toilet paper too. <laughs> you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't with you. See, we just got Sister JJ, the life coach. That came, <laughs> that, we brought that part out. <laughs> we brought that part out. We brought that part out. We brought that part out. But he keep ready. He bring the back Sister JJ clowning out with y'all. Clowning out with y'all. <laughs> I like oh, the balance. I like the balance. But, no, but, but that, that makes sense. Like you said, that they ain't going to let the other person win, so we're going to work this out. You're going to stay right here. And then, you, then, then women have been trained. Then you turn that into a yes man. Men going to be a man. man a man going to be a man. Mm-hmm. So you got to remember how people, how women was raised. And we were raised that we were supposed to take the crap off of men. We was raised to think that that's what we're supposed to do. Because mm-hmm. a man's going to be a man. A man's going to be a man. A man's going to be a man. As long as you take care of home, as long as you take care of home. All types of things. And then women have Generational issues. Generational cycle right Yes. Here. And then sometimes women have have, have self-esteem issues. And then <coughs> women. And then, and then also, it's just different things. Because they can feel like, I really do love this man. I really feel like this is who I'm supposed to be with. So I'm going I'm to rock on with them. Especially the ones that be at the altar praying with, with my family. I, I ain't gonna say this is my son's father, so I ain't gonna say my crackhead ex son. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> my I feel like you just did, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. <laughs> we ain't here. <laughs> What's understood ain't gotta be explained. <laughs> right. But, I ain't gonna say my son, because that's my son's daddy, so I ain't gonna call him a crackhead. Uh, <laughs> hey, yo, shout out to you, Urban, but you know, hey, man, we all right, but you know. Damn, Urban. So, you know, the, the Mike is on. Ur- <laughs> Urban, not the young. No, not that one. <laughs> <laughs> I might be like, everybody's done. You can go, smoke a little bit more, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you got some checks coming in. You got some checks coming in. Put hey, that cook, ball, do that ball. Do you got a cookie ball. ain't leave, man. The cookie didn't leave. <laughs> You know, and then right. some women stay, and I'm glad you said that. Some women stay because I talked to this this white lady. She said, we, she said, black women are stronger than white women. This came from a white woman's mouth. She said because you black women would leave knowing that you don't know how you're going to take care of your kid, where you're going to live, how you're going to nothing. But we white women, we're going to stay because we're not going to give up our house. We're not going to give up our car. We're not going to give up our security. I was like, wow, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Because I had the big house with my ex husband. But I was like, man, F that. I'm not going through this with you. You see what I'm saying? So I already stopped from the bottom. We had a management company. He's like, yo, what are we going to do? But man, you can keep it. I build another one, Plastic. Sure. But, but a different, a different, someone else would say, I'm going to stay because they want to stay safe. Because that's right. how they was raised. That's how they was trained. Right. You know, so you got some women that stay in abusive relationships. You know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't, I can see them. I do Felt like I was a bunch of bad, but I didn't know I was in an abusive relationship because I fought back. So my thing was that's what we do it too. So I got with this dude that was really cool, and I decided I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna hit you first. What the hell? What are you, what are you doing? She's in the streets, fellas. And I had to realize that this is not the way it's supposed to go. Right, but in my right. mind, and then just because you talk in a certain way, don't mean that you cheat. Just because you want to be every man that want to be to himself ain't thinking about another female. Men have yep. emotions too. Men got mm-hmm. different feelings too. They have different layers. The shell of a man come on out September twenty fifth and see it. And men got different layers to them. Just like women have different layers to them. So we have to have a conversation. Like uh, my my youngest son, just yesterday, I told him, I said, "Dude, you need to keep it one hundred with yourself before you bring another female in your life." Most you know what I mean? So it's just like we women, we we want to give you guys all of this fairy tale that we got in our own minds. So we give you. Uh, platinum benefits, and all you did was a seven day trial. Mm. That's all you did. Mm. And then we get mad when it's time to pay, and you be like, oh, I'm always doing this, I was doing the trial. 
That's a good way to put it. But, you know? but it's so good, yeah. right? Yeah. So, you know, you're chilling, even yeah. though you ain't feeling that real attachment with that, that chick, you know? You got comfortable now. Yeah, because you yeah. like all that. And then, you, you know, you like all the When life happens, when life happens, when now life you happens then you got the role. Cause yeah. real, and that's what happened with my, my son had a shorty that was cooking for me. He's like, Mom, she can cook, she go church, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just listening. And my son is, he, he, he like, like, nice looking butt. I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. He in the military. I put his tail up in there, step in there to figure it out. Next thing I know, you know, mom, me and Shorty, they ain't, you know, I'm like, I told you, leave that girl alone. That girl cooking mama for know. you? Yeah. And then, because uh, you got your eyes on something else. Yeah. And that's exactly what I'm I ain't got my eyes on nothing else. Next thing I know, two weeks later, what you doing? Well, me and this Shorty, I said, I told you, you had your eyes on something else. You better stop playing with these females. Because females, we, we've been trained. Yeah, you got to stop telling these heart, females you love them when you fuck your Joey. So we feed you, we suck you, we fuck you, we, do, we wash your clothes. We, we show you that we are your mama, per se. Mm -hmm. You know what, what I mean? Yeah, what I know we hoping in return you're going to give us the loyalty. Doing wife duties. And all you did, doing the mom, and all you, and all you did was do a try. That's all you did. You said I signed up for a seven day trial. That's all I signed up. He done pulled out the paperwork. Oh, this right here. I signed up for My time, my time. I signed up for that. Hey, 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 you extended it. <laughs> I canceled that subscription. Man. I thought that was part of the bonus. You, you, yeah, that was you. You're not no, that's a bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, didn't, hey, you, you, you didn't charge me for shipping the handle. Yeah, no, you no. love me. I didn't check that box. <laughs> I love my vibe. <laughs> Daddy, I love everything about you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like what we had going on. That's when women start getting crazy and acting like doing, you know, crazy stuff. You know, I mean, it goes a lot. Cause some women be like, "That ain't me, Sister JJ. You ain't speaking for me." And then that's cool, Queen. But for those that it is, it's like right. telling my queens, stop giving these men you know platinum benefits mm. and all they order was a try. That's it. Stop doing it. That. Hey, that's real knowledge. You better preach. That's yeah. the title of another book. <laughs> no, that's a sermon. That's yeah, a sermon. Right? That's the JJ but, in the but, building. But, but you know what? After saying that, and I felt everything you said, you know what I'm saying, why women stick it out and whatnot, the emotional attachment, the trial, stop doing the platinum treatment and whatnot, you know. But at the same time, women were still... Because you can't make a woman or a man forget what just happened. Sure can. Okay. So how would you get once a person cheats? How do you get it out your mind to never bring that up again? So you guys if, gotta, they, if it never happens again, why, how would you get it? First, you got to get back to that trust factor. Right. What <laughs> they do got to do is accept fault. Don't say, well, I cheated because you. Because then you're putting it back on her. It's all about choices. They, I cheated. I ain't got no excuse, or I cheated because I like women, or I got an issue. Whatever it is, I cheated because I accept the fault in it. Now, once yeah. the accountability, and once that man accepts it, now, now, queen, you got a choice to make. Either you're going to forgive him, and y'all going to find your way back to that trust factor, or you need to roll out. Or you don't know your head. worth to pay me. Yeah, you going yeah. you going because you can still forgive and keep and keep moving. Okay. <laughs> like yeah. you, you can forgive. But you ain't got to be with them. Or you can forgive and you can keep moving. You just got to figure out if this is who I want to be with. When it's all said and done, is this who I want to be with? And if you guys decide this is what you want to do, then y'all got to y'all gotta talk it out. Y'all You got to talk it but out. It also has to be time. You as the man can say, man, you ain't over that shit yet. You, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to, you can't, you can't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't dictate how. When she call you. That's exactly how I she call you. Damn, you still mad at that shit. Yeah. I yeah. thought you were gay. I'd have told you, man. You hey. know what happened. Hey. I'm trying to love you. I'm hey. trying to love you. Hey. God hey. damn. And it's only been two weeks. Bitch. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's going to take a long time. Because uh, you ain't going to make me my that... favorite dude in the world. <laughs> Hell no. Because uh, uh. you got to look at it like this. The time it took you to build up the trust yeah. is going to be the same. Like, you got to start over now. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you yeah. can't be like, what's happening? It's been a couple you months. You tore it all the way down. Because, right. see, before she didn't know you, so she went in trusting you. See, what people don't realize, women trust you right. like that. You got to trust like that. You think about that. You get a woman to come to your house, she trusts you like that. That's she don't know you're going to kill her. That's real. That's, yeah. You get that woman to have relations with you with nothing on. She trusts you just like that. Because women are ahead 
already because they already think in relationship. Yeah. They already thinking. They this, still, they they already in love with the fact of being in love before you, you even get to for real liking them. For still you still thinking about other options. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Potential. So they way ahead of yeah. you. You in the talking stage. Yeah. And they, the they way they thinking about three years later. Way ahead of you. Yeah, they sitting there looking at the weather. They looking at the complexion. Oh, he looking. He look good at tip blue. We gonna be plum <laughs> and lavender. <laughs> Cause women already set up like that from yeah. little girls. They already dresses and dolls and hair and makeup and yeah. you know what I'm saying daughters and babies and yeah. they already we Bang. kicking and punching and GI Joe. You it's know what I mean? It is a man. You got that ball and chain. And like is you sending out two different messages. You telling women to groom themselves to be married, and then you tell the men, ball and train, you better run, you better run. Like, hold on, what the hell? That's you already training men to tell men, yo, go sow your wild oats. Uh, dude, don't go out yeah. here and give an alley cat the best of what you got, and then you come back and get a woman you love the leftovers. The That's wrong. Yeah, you gotta get an alley cat a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't be giving the alley cat 89%. Oh, you it's a team. It's, it's a 80 20. <laughs> you know, you're you know, you talking it. about 50 50 love. <laughs> Ten you know it's going to be 64. <laughs> But see, that goes back to that double life, though. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of people out here that live that double life for one time. Yeah, giving everybody yeah, like, yeah, the real give us a double life. Yeah, keep on. You got to keep on. What are they saying on IG? Nothing. They're they saying stuff. Man. It's too much to read. You said too much to read. Do y'all do y'all not do y'all not agree with what she's saying though? As far as you know, with the one cheat, the real cut, all the cheat, the one not. I I don't agree like most of y'all, but I agree with everything. So if you have a if but you have a person, because you got some men, that's just what they do. Yeah. But if you and if, women, if a man come into your life and he admits that he's cheated in previous relationships, are you? Does your trust still start right there, or so? You know? And it's good that you asked that because when when a dude come and I ask those kind of questions, I'm like, why are you in a relationship? And I'm watching. You know, Fellas, be prepared for that question. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm watching your mannerisms. I'm watching your non-verbals. And then you be like, yo, I'm going to be honest, you know me and Shorty. You said Shorty was crazy. Up uh, there already. But you knew she was crazy when you got with her. No, you yeah. sometimes you don't know. Sometimes <laughs> you don't. You might come out later sometimes. No. Mm, sometimes, she listen. Cheesy. When well, you, if you sit and you talk with a, a chick, you talk to her. Like, see, the problem is you ain't talking. No, no, clearly. Oh, man. That's the problem. You won't talk it. All you was doing was zooming in on what you trying to get. And she was talking time. and you weren't <laughs> listening. All you was trying to do was get her to hear the yes. And once her the yes, boom. But when you talk to a chick and you and you listen to her, you be like, yo, shorty crazy. But my homeboys I be talking to, because I talk to a lot of kings who cool like that. They be like, yo, Jay, you for real, yo, because I was talking to shorty. And yo, I listened to what you told me. And I was like, let me listen to her. And stop looking at her tail. You know, he's like, look at her ass. He's like, man, I start listening. He's like, yo. Shorty crazy. I said, I try to tell you. All you got to do is listen. But you don't listen. And when you don't listen, then you can't hear it. You think about it already. You say it again. You think about fucking already day one. You like, man, I just want to No, it's not, it's not even that. See, you, you listen, but, you know, school is always time. You know. <laughs> okay. From 810 to 310. Wow. At 310, you don't want to learn no more because school is over. Okay. Now you want to have fun. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, so you so when you get with the chick and you listen and you're like, okay, yeah. Yeah, all right. All right. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. Look at his eyes. It's time. <laughs> you got a good head on your shoulder. Sure. Listen. He I won't listen. He heard, but he not listening. Like no. <laughs> that's it. That's all he want. I'm listening. I'm, I'm hearing you. So it's like we, we listen. listen, but... Niggas got we selective. We, we hear. Want to hear. We, right. We no. want to hear what we want to hear. But a lot of times, females going to give you what you want to hear. And you're not yeah, going to yeah. see. And the nigga going to do the same thing. And, and, yeah. and, and, and that's why I say, the, I, 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 I say this. I say this. Zebra can only hide his stripes but for so long. Now you got to do sit back and watch first. So like now where I'm at, the dude holler at me and be like, oh, no, no. No, we ain't doing that. Mm-mm. No, I'm just saying. Nope, 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 nope. Because now you let me know. You hollering. That's what you do. <laughs> All you gotta do is just watch. They gonna tell. They gonna reveal themselves. But I mean, and that's the, that's, too. that's the smart way to look at it. But everybody ignores red flags. Yes, they do. Everybody. And then you get mad. And then you get mad. And really, you mad at yourself. 
So yeah. when they say, oh man, they crazy, like you said. Yeah, that's you're mad at so yourself. Yeah. But I mean, it's the same way the other way with the female. Oh, he ain't yeah. shit, da, da, da. Mm-hmm. You knew that. We knew that. Sometimes them red flags. I wanted them to all have that on Everybody that had a season pass. I wanted you got to daddy, you got to daddy, you got to daddy. You did that on purpose. You got did that on purpose. Okay. Four kids on daddy. I wanted that I was missing the red flags. I just want everybody to be special. Everybody got their own daddy. You ain't even got to share your dance. So it ain't got nothing to do with the red flags. So, <laughs> nothing to do with the red flags. So, so, so if, 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 we, if we all agree that once a cheater and not a cheater or whatnot, and I know the in reason why, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, men may leave women that they cheat one time, then if they believe that once a cheater and always not a cheater, then why why leave the woman if you don't believe in once a cheater always a cheater then? If you believe Bring in that back. As, 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 as men, if we believe that once a cheater, always a cheater is not true, right? Mm-hmm. Then why do we still leave as men when a woman does cheat one time? Because ego. I was about to say because, because you don't want to go through the process your of mending your hurt. You don't want to go through the process of talking out. That's not a fun yeah. thing. And then because you got to identify with. Especially if she cheated with your. Your boy, he be like, yeah, I got that. And then the special, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to deal with the hurt. You, you got to deal with that. You got a dime piece. You be like, yeah, he be like, yeah, man. What she said. <laughs> 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 I shout it, King Go. I know. <laughs> I know. I'll tell you about my girl, though. Let me tell you about your girl. <laughs> and she still do that look. No. <laughs> she used to be good. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Did she have a pink draw <laughs> I, I I done heard that conversation. I before. had the wildest sex. Did you so wear that? Such, such, such a hole. You know what? Old girl said the same thing. But that you that? You know what I'm saying? So they're trying to put yeah. something together or whatnot, you know? Yeah, but it's just like she said earlier. Like, it's easy to leave and move on. Yeah. Like she said when she talked to the white lady. You know, you it's a lot of strength to have to mend that relationship after you've been betrayed. You know, so the easy thing to do in both situations, male or female, be like, you know what, I'm gone. You gonna deal with that hurt in some sort of way. You gonna mask it. Exactly. You gonna deal with it. It's gonna it's gonna happen to you whether you take it to another relationship yeah. or you deal with the relationship you're in and, and you know, which you is gotta, not, you gotta which is not fair to the next person exactly. because you're making the next person pay for a crime that they didn't commit. Yeah. You're not trusting me for something the shorty did. Mm-hmm. What's the song? Uh, who got that song that um this is the reason why I can't get with you because you remind me of somebody? You wouldn't believe, yeah. You wouldn't believe. Yeah, you gonna make me fit for the crime. I already said something. I thought you were gonna be like, no, 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 not that one. You remind me of a girl that I once knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you told R. Kelly. You don't make nobody pay for a crime. So, like you said, you don't, you don't sit and talk about this thing and and deal with it. I hit it first with a song. So 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 basically, as men, we're not mentally strong enough to deal with it. Then. No, it's the men that are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but the easiest situation. Oh, the, thing, the thing is, is like, it, it depends so on how big the mess. So is. what? Why you make it so black and white? I mean, I'm just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we say it's not true and we don't believe it, but then but then but then men do it and they leave after one time, then that means but then women that leave after one time. It's some women because what they do. Then obviously we do believe in it. That once you cheat, you always a cheater. Yes, I, mean, that's true. I think it's more like I said, it's a combination I mean, of what you can It's not always black, it's gray. Because you got some men, it's like, no, I can't deal with it. It, it, probably, it can depend on who she cheated with. You know, like you cheated with my brother, you cheated with my daddy, you cheated yeah. with my I mean, that, 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 I, I'm going to say that kind of thing. I'm talking about, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about if, you, if she cheated with somebody that you just didn't even have a clue that it was taking yeah, you from earth or whatnot. So, you know? But it's a lot of, it's a lot of reasons. Yeah. One of them is how you look to everybody else. Because just like men, women and men, your friends are like, man, you still hurt, man, you stupid. She cheating on yeah. Another reason is, just like you said, a lot of women cheat emotionally. She already gone. So you've already lost your connection. But yes. So it makes sense to kind of be like, you know what? She's been gone from me if she cheated because women sometimes cheat differently. Yes, Dude, do. we cheating because we thinking with our dicks. Let's just be real. We, just, we try to get variety. We try yeah. to, you know what I'm saying? We just out here. A woman cheats. It makes more sense to me for a man to be out because a woman cheats. She's already emotionally gone. You lost the yeah. love from her. And, yeah. so, and, you know? and, and, and some women, because you got some, some women, I'm like, damn, shorty, like, you like what to do. Yeah, it's something like that. Some dude act like a dude that just wants something to be gut like they ain't got no connection with you. But for the most part, it's for the most part it is that. Yeah. But you you know, it's just it's the individual. It's just the individual. So you can't tell the person when people ask me, Oh, what should I do? I'm like, ah, you 
gotta do, you have to make decisions that's best for you. And that's the bottom line. So if staying with this shorty, and I know some dudes that stay with a female that's cheated on them several times, mm -hmm. and she don't work, she don't a, a, a damn fat, but he's still with her, like, he's like, man, I just feel so stupid. Well, if you feel as though being with her is the best decision for you, then be with her. See, that's the, that's it. What's the best decision for you? I don't know, because you only telling me your end. You're not telling me the part and when y'all in the house together, you might get some jacked up stuff, mm -hmm. said some jacked up stuff to her, or didn't pay the rent, or didn't break. You know, I don't know all that stuff. Because sometimes it's a reason you cheat. Yeah. Or they so, cheat. <laughs> so you have to make decisions that's best for you, based on I the real truth of what's going on in your relationship. And so for some people, they so they it could be it could be ego with men like, nah, man, I'm out. Because they do. They listen to their friends. Like you said, how it looks on the outside. Yeah. And, and some, women do the same thing. Women listen do the same thing. thing. So you got you have to just be honest with yourself, and that's one thing that people don't do. Yeah. They don't be honest with themselves. So you be honest with yourself. And if your girl cheated, then you know. Cheat yeah. back. <laughs> Cheat back, King. <laughs> Cheat that. <laughs> it's a cheat <laughs> But I, I feel like I had to throw that question out there. I appreciate you. you know Sister JJ. Sister man. JJ answering that Tell question. Tell them again one more that. time how they can reach you, get to your business. <laughs> yeah, y'all can get with me on all social media. I am Sister JJ, S I S T A, J A Y J A Y. And we got something else coming on after this movie <laughs> right here. I'm actually working on my Michael thing. I guess he's going to talk about it. Can't really say. I can't say. <laughs> we talk about that. Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, I'm actually the yeah, okay. DP and assistant director on Michael's um, film, and I think I am uh, working. I'm going to be the production team on Tamara, I think. What's up, Tamara? So, yeah, so they come, they come and talk about their stuff, but um, yeah, that's where y'all find me at. No Nickel and Down Production. I'm here to make your film life pleasant. Hit me up, we got you. JJ. So what kind of films do you do? So right now, like I said, I'm really I do some of everything: comedy, drama, suspense. I don't do horror because I don't like scary movies, but I will shoot it if you pay me. Porn. I don't do porn. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you still thinking about this jail scene? Because no. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I <cannot win> <laughs> I cannot. I had some stuff in there. Would you would you do something that had a bit superstar? I be, I have done a sex scene, but not like it's totally naked. It's different variations of sex scenes. I won't talk about so more nieces because I got kids. I got you know I got nieces, nephews, grandkids. I I gotta be more mindful about what I take and what I do. Mm -hmm. Who do you say I hear? I, I won't total naked. <laughs> <laughs> Skin, skin, because it gotta be real. I won't fold the beat. Are they fucking for real? <laughs> he, he, he won't, he won't mop the ball type stuff. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I won't booty talk 39. Say <laughs> <laughs> so what? I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do what is that? He said, 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 all right, so we got another segment. We do on the show. Uh, no, no, it's too late. Let me cut it. It's too late. We ain't doing it. It's too late. Okay, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no way. <laughs> well, we're, hey, well, we appreciate Sister JJ coming in, man. You know what I'm saying? Once again, catch her Sunday, September 18th. When life happens. When it happens. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, y'all better go to the cool, man. Eventbrite and get your tickets now. Two days. Two days left. And then it's on. All right. So make sure y'all go get the tickets now, man. We appreciate you coming on the show today. Well, we appreciate you. Absolutely. Yeah, one more time. Make sure no, you can tell me to give it to him one more time. No, it was just part of that. I was there. Man, make sure y'all tune in each and every week, man. The Big Talk, Big Game in the game room, man. This is your boy, D-Rail. And I go by the name of Lee. What up? Man, like always, man, we out of here. Oh! This is your girl, Sister JJ. I just had a good time with Big Talk, Big Game. Y'all check them out. <laughs>